Family and close friends of the late former First Lady, Viola Burnham, honored her memory as we hear from Adam Harris. At the back of the Botanical Gardens, for a bout of recollection and reflection. I have come home here to my mother's home, ready to say thank you, not just to her, but to all of you. I have also come here to remember he was an accommodating person and she was an accepting person and she accepted me for what I was, what I am. As we reflect on her life and her work, there is much that Diana benefited from. Her resilience, her intuition, and her quiet demeanor, yet commanding in the way in which she influenced others to emulate her example. Beverly Vi was one of my lifelong friends. She was a little older than I was, and uh, we sort of walked the same sorts of paths. Well, do you remember the times when, when you actually felt the feelings, but it, it becomes a bit difficult sometimes to actually feel them in the present day. There were also reflections from the policewoman who worked with her as her personal security, from former Foreign Minister Rashley Jackson, from Hamley Case, and from her granddaughter, Asante LeBlanc, who was overcome with emotion. Do you think I would cry today because it's been four years? Um, <laughs> Mom taught us a great deal, as it is said. She was more than a mother, friend, teacher, first lady. After the reminiscences, there were the laying of the floral tributes and the monument into which Comrade Vice ashes have been placed. Adam Harris, Prime News.